It's estimated that over the past 19 years, more than 3,000 undocumented migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border have died in South Texas. Now, we first told you about this crisis in 2016. Now the team that's been identifying those bodies and reuniting the remains with families just got its largest funding grant yet. KBU's Jenny Lee joins us now. And Jenny, that team is from Texas State University. Kate Spradley and her team started Operation ID as a volunteer project several years ago, but the need just kept growing as the discovery of remains skyrocketed. Now, with this $200,000 grant from the state, Dr. Spradley and her team hope to reunite even more families. In the processing room, Cleaning bones is the top priority for Texas State graduate students. This is part of the identification process for its donated bodies program and for Operation ID. Within two years, we had about 65 individuals dropped off at our doorstep, which is like a plane crash, like a mass disaster dropped off. Dr. Kate Spradley says it was overwhelming in the early days of Operation ID, the program that identifies unknown remains from South Texas counties. But so far, Spradley and her students have identified 35 people, all are migrants. So when we identify someone, we're able to repatriate them. Um, we know that that is meaningful for the family and it's very meaningful to us as well. That's why we do this work. Dr. Spradley and the students regularly travel to South Texas counties to find remains, a process that can still surprise her. When you look around and you see where they are buried, it is as if they were just finding any space they could and burying them there. So. I am also very concerned that we won't find everybody who was buried there. In 2016, we traveled to Brooks County where volunteer deputy Don White is in charge of finding bodies. He's still at it. Since 2009, he and others have discovered 680 bodies on the surface, 220 in a cemetery. When remains are discovered, there are personal effects as well. Did a child say, here, you know, take this so you don't forget me? Like the stuffed animal Dr. Spradley shows us. This room full of personal items found with remains yet to be identified, all entered into a national database waiting for someone to claim them. We're dealing with death on a really intimate level um, and just seeing people's stories, you know, sort of firsthand. But at the same time, it's, you know, providing answers to to families. For graduate student Stephanie Madrano, she says she relates to these migrants. And my parents came here when they were in their 20s, 30s. So just the sacrifice that they've made like to have a better life and the sacrifice that these people are coming now from Central America and Mexico, it, it means a lot. Definitely hits home. All on a mission to identify and reunite as many of these remains as they can. Ginny Lee, KVU News.